going on, people? Uh, okay, Bank Holiday Monday yesterday. Day after, it's snowing today. Madness. Madness, snowing in April. Anyway, my video today is Jehovah Witnesses, okay? Interesting bunch. The more I research these people and this cult-like religion, I get more and more disturbed by what I read and my findings, okay? Anybody who knows uh, the building Temple Farm in Chelmsford used to be a Freemason building, 33 degrees, okay? Um, Jehovah Witnesses have bought a building at Temple Farm, okay? Anybody want to guess what number? 33. Now that's not the 33 degrees of the Masonics, is it? The Masons? No, not at all. Right, now anybody that knows anything will know Jehovah Witnesses are the minions, the foot soldiers of the Freemasons who are funded by the Knights Templars, okay? They like to talk about Jesus, they like to talk about Jehovah, but like I said in my last video, I don't really see too much religiousness going on there. Um, same with the Kingdom All. Anytime you're at a Kingdom All, these people don't seem to have souls present. It's just this permanent void in their eyes, okay? And I can spot devil's people from a long, far away, okay? A uh, minute somebody's in my presence, I go by energies. And these people have some real bad energies going on, all right? Um, I've got a lot of stories involve, involving the truth, uh, Jehovah Witnesses, uh, Watchtower, Awake. It's a very sick indoctrination of people, okay? My videos ain't against Jehovah's Witness faith. Everyone on this earth can choose whatever faith they would like, okay? So whether they're a Christian, whether they're Catholic, whether they're Muslim, whatever, bruv, okay? But I am going to speak out on these truths. Somebody please explain to me why they would have bought that one building, 33 of all places, number 33. It's nothing to do with ley lines, is it? And energies and pagan gods, is it? Nothing to do with that. I suppose a lot of that's going to go over a lot of people's heads, okay? But in the, the day, the more you research, you also uh, you also know this. My nan, for example, is paying 125 pound a month, okay? Apparently for Watchtower and Awake scriptures, okay? Now that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, there's also a lot of evidence that Jehovah Witnesses are the elders are selling off their buildings. Now, what gives them the right to sell off these buildings, okay? All these buildings were built on free labor and people in the community donating stuff, okay? So they donate their time, they would donate work materials, they would donate all sorts of help until these buildings were built. I remember this, the one in Stanford Oak, how that was built, okay? But these people don't do nothing for the community, nothing whatsoever. They can't mix with worldly people. We're the scum. Go back to, I think, 1957 in the Jehovah Witness scriptures, they were told not to say the word human beings, okay? People are not bothered by this. I watched a video last night. Somebody set fire to a JW hall. All the comments were like, pray for Jehovah's, pray for the witnesses. They could never stop God. Excuse me. If there weren't so much cover-ups in the kingdom hall and then feeling they're above man, above whoever, and they can get away with these things, especially the elders, the two witness rule, then random people probably won't be setting fire to their kingdom halls. Okay? They're digging their own grave. Truth is coming out more now. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm loving this. I don't agree with that one religion one bit. There is not no link to Christianity. They are not God's people, okay? Like I said, 33, the Mason building. Go do your research, okay? That's some twisted religion, mate. Twisted. I've got a feeling these people are funding. These are people who are collecting as much money as possible off their gullible supporters, okay? And then something will happen with that money. I'm telling you, bruv. I'm telling you, I've seen this before in history, okay?